Hi, welcome to Heart Ninja. This tutorial is on the Metal D Dojo. What's the Metal D Dojo? Well, let's have a look. Uh, let's go into the Diatonic Tuning Dojo. The Metal D Dojo is this button here. So, uh, like a little uh, keyboard. It's basically a uh, piano roll type uh, game where you can learn uh, a bunch of uh, included songs and some scales. Um, so the first thing that happens when it pops up is uh, you're already presented with the select tune dialog. The tunes are broken down by beginner type tunes that have no bends. And then we have first position, some first position tunes, second position, third and fourth position. So you select the tune type and then you can select from a bunch of different tunes. Uh, which a lot of these ones here are very common in uh, learning harmonica uh, if you're a beginner intermediate, but they're actually also pretty good to do uh, if you're intermediate advanced because you can transpose them, which I'll show later, and uh, put them into different tunings and change the speed. So uh, even simple tunes, and then it's, it's how you play it. So let's to choose this one, When the Saints, uh, which is obviously When the Saints Go Marching In. Just to explain a couple of the options here, um, pause mode, as explained here, this is when you're really learning, it will automatically stop the playback uh, when you miss a note and it will wait for you to play it correctly. Uh, this is common functionality in, in these sort of scrolling music games, especially with piano and keyboard. And there's a metronome uh, checkbox here if you want to hear a beat bait, uh, on, the, on the playback. This is the advanced stuff here, which we won't go into the moment. We'll go into this later, but this is if you want to transpose the key. All these songs uh, that you see here in the position ones, they're all a uh, base key of C, and uh, you can transpose them to any other key. You can also transpose them to another tuning if you've got uh, another harmonica. So you can play, as I said, uh, use them as training songs. Um, it's good to have a melody you know in your head even simple ones like Bar Bar Black Sheep or, or Jingle Bells, and then you want to practice on a different tuning or a different key, uh, it's good because you've already got that embedded in your working memory. Um, and then you, the goal then is to, is to figure out the mental model of that particular harmonica tuning that you're working on. Anyway, so we've selected, uh, let's keep it simple here. We've got Beginner, When the Saints. So when you're ready to play, just press Play. What happens here is, is a countdown, the four second countdown, and then the song starts. So we'll just pause it here and just, what are we looking at? Okay, this is the, we have the harmonica up here. This is the pitch tracker module, which is copied across from the tuning dojo, where you can mute the mic if you want. You can see it's uh, responding to my voice there. This is the score. This is the, the score of points, and I'll explain what the score makeup is later. And this is a multiplier that uh, increases as you uh, consecutively uh, hit notes. As you, in blocks of 10, you'll get more points. I'll explain more on that later. So the notes scroll down here. We have the holes, the harmonica holes, and their corresponding hole number here. And then what this means here is a little legend here. Blue notes are blow. We'll see some green ones later. Green are draw. And in this case, you won't see any overbends or bends because it's this is a no bend category for beginners. So this is a blow note hole four. This one just coming out here is a blow note hole five. On the right hand side here, we have the controls which pop up when uh, the song actually starts playing after the initial countdown. You have a pause button and resume. It's in resume at the moment because we paused it. This is uh, this uh, mute button for the sound of the harmonica. You can actually, this will play back the sound as the notes hit here. But sometimes it automatically mutes every time you play now. So because sometimes you don't want to hear it, you just want to work on the visual. And this is a speed slider which uh, selects the changes the playback speed of the notes as they come down here at the moment it's set to the, the very lowest you can actually go a little bit slower if you click on here um, this is related to the settings dialog uh, and difficulty at the moment easy is it will preset it to here medium um, 
normal is is a, about here and then fast will set the speed up about here by default so we've got it set on uh, easy at the moment so the notes will scroll down here and your goal is to play when they just about hit the start of the, what this is called the hit zone so as the notes come down here you want to play and it will recognize your harmonica if you play the right note and you'll get points and so you've got to blow for starters and then hold the note for the length that you see there so let's just try that and see you can see here how it responds this is i'm blowing and the color <clears throat> here changes to correspond to this so this is blow green for draw and you'll see it they move down a little bit depending on the bend Okay, so let's just resume here and, and uh, give it a shot. We can go even slower. Let's just change that a little bit. Oh, so you can see that's quite sensitive. So we, we're going to speed it up. Here comes another one. green obviously is draw just changing the speed here you can see here Go a little bit faster. So when you're finished, <clears throat> when the song finishes, up will pop the finish dialog, uh, gives you the title of the song, the total score, and the number of notes you hit in that song, and a ratio of percentage. So we hit 96% of the notes in that, in that song, 62 out of 64. The streak is how many notes you hit consecutively, um, and that's what contributes to the multiplier. So explaining the score here, we get you get 10 points for each note that you hit uh, and it's multiplied by the streak multiplier plus 10 times the streak multiplier by the time of the note length you saw the how long those notes length so you the longer you hold the note in as you're supposed to you'll get more points if you cut it off too early then you won't get as many points so to get maximum points you've got to hit every note and hold them for the correct length and you'll get maximum streak potential and maximum points. Uh, the streak multiplier ranges from times one up to times 10 and it increases every 10 notes you hit consecutively it'll increase by one, by two, by three, by four. The buttons here, this will repeat the song. Uh, this brings up this brings up the select tune dialog again and this just exits to the screen here, to the main screen. And these buttons here on the bottom left again uh, sort of duplicate these, uh, except this one will bring up the select tune dialog. If we just click that there, 
You can see if you just want to practice it, this will pop up the dialog again. Uh, this button here will go back to the tuning dojo and this takes us back to the main menu. So let's just uh, play that song again, but this time we'll show you what pause mode does. <clears throat> if you're a real beginner and even on the very slowest speed, it's too fast for you uh, to think. So let's select pause mode here. It's checked on. Now we get the countdown again. And what will happen this time is the notes will come down, but they'll stop here and wait for you to hit to play. So you can see here the pause button is highlighted. Wrong note. No, we want five below. So that's a bit like Hunt and Peck. It's uh, if you if you really want to slow it down and and you're just working on. You can see pause mode there doesn't engage if I hit the note just before it hits here. If I engage the note with by playing, it'll the pause mode won't engage. So it's actually a bit of a safety factor. You can use start with pause mode as you get used to it. Uh, you can actually play the whole song through without even it going into pause mode. If you hit the notes just before they they touch the hit zone and go into pause mode, and then later you can just not use pause mode at all and just start working with the speed slider. And if you want to cancel uh, that song, you just hit the Select Tune dialog and it will cancel it and pop it up. You can see we've got the last selection there. So if we just go back. That's uh, the basics of the Melody Dojo. And you've got, uh, as I said, many songs. You've got first position songs. You've got a few there, Three Blind Mice. Uh, there's some bends in here. Uh, second position, we have uh, a couple of standard songs for Ajaco, a bit of a different style, not uh, all blues. Uh, G Mixolydian scale, a blues shuffle, twinkle twinkle, and a 12 bar blues in G. Uh, third position, uh, a bit of a, a blues number. Sakura is a traditional Japanese melody, which is quite nice in third position. Uh, third position scale, Dorian, St. James Infirmary. Um, and fourth position, we have uh, a couple of tunes there. Fourth minor Aeolian scale, uh, Blues Shuffle, another version of St. James playing in in fourth position and a bit of a swing tune. It's good that St. James Infirmary is actually in third and fourth because again, slightly different melody, but once you, you've got a melody in your head, you can, um, as I said, change them to different tuning or different key and if you've got different harmonicas, so. Uh, okay, the next uh, tutorial will go into using the Melody Dojo in the tuning because you can also play songs here. Uh, I'll split this up into two videos and then we'll also um, have a look at how you can use it in the zoom mode.